Hallo und willkommen zurück bei The Walking Dead Episode 2 von Tether Games. Ich bin Maro und wir sind auf einer Farm gelandet. Wir hatten schon ein kleines Erlebnis mit Banditen und jetzt müssen wir gucken, was wir noch so machen können hier. Hey Lee, how's it going with the St. John's? Good. I was talking to Andy earlier and offered our group's assistance on the dairy. I don't think they have much to protect them besides the fence, though he seemed pretty appreciative. Great. Sounds like they're starting to accept us. Definitely. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Kancha can have an easier life here. That's funny. He didn't seem too worried about Duck when Larry wanted to throw him out into the street back in Macon. That's in the past, Kenny. A lot's happened since then. Yeah, right. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Good idea. Mark is okay in there. Ja, dann gucken wir doch mal, ob er den Schein kriegt. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Na ja, gucken wir mal hier durch. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? They'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look. My dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. 
And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Ah, yeah, liebenswürdig wie immer, der Typ. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for Meryl's, if that becomes a problem. Gut zu wissen. Hier kommt noch wahrscheinlich eine Scheune. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? We'll go in a few minutes. Just need to check on a few things before we head out. Sure, that's understandable. Talk things over with your group. Just come find us when you're ready. I'll do that. <laughs> Aber ich glaube... Ja, mir geht nicht. Ich kann hier nicht abholen. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Sonst scheint hier nichts. Das ist nicht wieder ja. Dann sind wir wohl bereit. Hey Lee, change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close.
Here. Oh shit, you found it? You see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Just water. Empty. Nothing. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Yuck. I don't need that. What's going on here?
Jesus. There's a kid mixed up in this? Was more like. The hell? Don't you fucking move! Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on, tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! God damn it! Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are ya? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry, and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. 
That woman is a lifesaver. euch geht, aber ich glaube, hier ist was faul auf der Fahrt. Aber das werden wir hoffentlich in der nächsten Folge von The Walking Dead rausfinden. Bis dann!